All right, gang, so our next tutorial is Chapter 6, Tutorial Number 2, which is a cosmetics cover. This is continuing with the concept of plastics modeling. In modeling, where you start with a base feature and you alter the outside structure of the part by taking a really simple, in this case, rectangular type feature, drafting the sides, tapering the sides with a draft feature, and then affecting the edges with a fillet feature. And once you've got the outside structure modified and you've got it to your liking, you would then go and modify the interior structure. Interior structure. So what's used a lot in plastics modeling is shells. Shells will take a solid object, essentially scoop out, remove the inside material, and leave you with a desired wall thickness behind. In this case, it's like two or three millimeters. But we're, let's jump right in. So it's chapter six, tutorial two, and we're going to start with our base feature creation. Okay. So if I come here, make a new part. Yeah, I mean, I totally recommend you guys read through the tutorial first. All right. So it tells us to create a base feature. Base feature is going to create it on the ZX plane. Very important to identify the origin point relative to everything. All right. So they actually wind up having us create um, the base feature with the bottom left corner coincident to the origin. All right, so what I could do to set that is just start with a rectangle shape, dimension from the left to the right side, distance of 150. Okay. Take these two edges, coincidence, and these two edges, vertical edge to vertical absolute axis, coincidence. Okay. And we need to do an arc. So what I'm going to do is come here. Three point arc start with limits. Limits in this case means start and end of the arc. So I'll set start, end here. Okay. Assign the radius value, which is 350. Okay. Dimension the height from the top of the arc to the bottom edge. Right click. Actually, yeah, we want this just to be. 28 and then we'll trim this edge here and there you go there's our base feature exit sketcher we'll take this pad this guy mirrored extent the overall distance of this guy if you look at the control art images should be 250 do 250 divided by 2 here there you go there's our base feature the next feature is going to be based off of uh, an offset plan that create with a height that matches the top of this arc here, right? So if we come back to our sketch, we can find that value. It is 28. All right, so we're going to create a reference plane here. Distance of 28. Okay. There's our reference plane. It's at the proper height. And we're going to create a second feature, which consists of another centered rectangle. Now, as I'm doing this, I just found a couple of errors here, but I can work through them. The book is actually riddled with errors, but we can figure it out. Okay, so I'll just come here. Take this edge, make it coincident to this edge. This bottom edge here should be length of 75. The overall length of this edge here should be 125. And there that is. Okay, so we'll just take this. It's at the proper position relative to the top of this curve here. We're going to come here. We're going to pad it into our base feature. So we can take this sketch change the pulling direction. Remember these arrows control the pulling direction of our extrude features. It always goes up like say the z-axis that is tendency. But we'll flip the direction. And instead of it having it extrude down using a dimension value, let's just do up to next. And it terminates on the curved surface. All right? So pretty easy. Next thing we're going to do is assign fillets. We have to kind of look at the control images now and find the correct fillet values. 
So in this case here, there's a couple we have to set. And what we want to do is do the smaller fillet radii first and then the larger fillet values. So there's a set of small fillet radii that create the transition between first feature, which is this big shape, and the second feature. So we'll grab these three edges here. These are the guys we need to fill it because they're creating the transition between the two shapes. So we want to address those guys first. It's a small value. I believe it's going to be three. Okay, so multi ribbon. I should actually sort this out. So actually, okay, here's what we're going to do just do these two guys. value of 3. Oh, what we need to do first, actually, my bad, is to do the draft. Yeah, so the way this works is when you're creating uh, this type of object, first you do your extrude, then you do your drafts, and then you do your fillets. So we can't underestimate the importance of a draft angle feature. So we'll come here, and draft is going to be done to the sides. Typically, we assign draft features to the sides because you take an object that's got these really simple sides here that aren't tapered at all. You want to give them a taper. You select the sides you want to taper. Neutral element could be the top in this case. Angle value is 3. If you hit preview, it gives you these uh, light blue planes that give us indications as to the pulling direction of the fillet. So because I selected the top and I did an angle of 3, it's tapering inward. You can see it by the direction of this line. Let's do negative 3, and it actually tapers outward. So let's come over here, hit preview, and those preview planes here show us direction of the taper. We actually want it to taper outward. We want it to draft outward, not inward. So because I selected the top plane as my neutral element, I have to reverse uh, the draft angle value. I could have selected the bottom and just kept a positive 3, and it would have been okay. So you get this. Now we can go in here and do our fillets, and now that value of three to our fillets should work. Again, I selected the face. I don't want that. I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Actually, remove this edge. You just want these bottom edges here. This guy, this guy, and this guy. Hit preview. Hit OK. Ah. Yeah, so the problem is this edge here so I'm just going to remove it and we should be okay that still give me a little problem so let me just delete the fillet completely and start over okay edge fillet so we just want let's see let's see the best way to do this here um Let's grab these guys first. And give it a fillet radius of 3. No, it's still giving us a hard time, which it should. This is a... We're doing this about, man, I've been doing this a long time and never had issues with that. Okay, let's try just a smaller value then. No. All right, let's try this. Cancel this out. Fill it. This guy. Down three. So what we're gonna have to do is just apply a value of one, looks like. Let me 
just come here and do this fillet first. And it's generating errors in really simple geo that should not be giving us all this issue here. So I'm just going to use lower fillet values. Yeah, so some of these are transferring on over to other guys. Let's see. Now I'm just going to go ahead on and use three throughout the rest of these guys. Alright, so we'll keep just keep the values you see in the video here. Should be able to address this guy by doing another fillet. And just give him a value of one. No, it's having issues with the top there. Alright, so next thing we want to do is a shell. So we get a shell, we do a bottom face for our shell and we want to give us a wall thickness indicated in figure 6-104 is 2 millimeters okay now we've got to create some pockets in the sides here so we'll do that next so there's actually on the side wall here we have to create these little cuts so the distance of these guys is 100. The height is actually 3 millimeters from the bottom edge. And we need to get this centered up. So the overall distance is... We can just keep this bottom edge where it is. What we need to do though is position this guy in the middle. So if the overall distance from front to back is 150, we can just come here and dimension from the vertical absolute axis to here, distance of 25, and you'd have 25 on either side because the overall distance from front to back is 150. This cut is 100, so you would have spacing of 25 on either side to get this guy centered up. Now we want to do a pocket, and the reason I created it here on the ZX plane is if I create this pocket and I just go straight through mirrored extent and dial up a value that punches through the sides of these objects here, we're going to get what we want. We want this to actually punch through the sides. If I had done this sketch on the tapered side here, on the drafted side, the sketch would actually go, if I did my pocket, would actually pocket normal to the direction of that face. Right? So there's a couple of ways you can fix that or solve that. The easiest thing to do is just create a sketch on one of the origin planes that's in the proper orientation and just do mirrored extent. I'll show this again. Mirrored extent, dial in a value that clears the side walls of this object. We also need to do the same thing in the front of this object. So I'm going to sketch her on the face here parallel to the front. Hit fit all in. And we need to create another centered rectangle. One fifty. Uh, the height for this guy should be seven and that's all you need it needs to be centered I mean the overall distance of this is 250 should be a hundred on either side from say this point here to here and from here to here from this point from this edge to this point okay. 
from that point to this edge we should have a distance of 50 yeah, we got it we're good exit sketcher do mirrored extent and there you go so now if we come here Mirror extent value should clear the front and back of our object. And I can tidy the, this up a little better by taking this sketch. All I need to do, I don't need that value of 50. I can just make sure, because it's centered up over the origin, make sure this distance is 150. This length is 150 and we're fine. Okay, and there's your final part little bit of an issue with the fillets here but I think it's just the way they have this laid out in the book it's a slightly different structure to the sketches that's causing this to happen here where we can't get this fillet back here but what I might do is go back to a previous version of the book and just use that for this demo alrighty this is the next one for chat that was chapter 6 tutorial number 2